All right, we made it to the end. Uh, this is the last video of what's inside my mallet bag. And uh, this is the most, uh, the most of any video uh, that I'll show because I have a lot of snare drum, uh, just sticks in general, different beaters, different things. So I'm just going to show, uh, show all of them to you. And uh, yeah, stick with me. Uh, so first, I'm just gonna start with uh, my drum set sticks that I always keep in my mallet bag. Um, I do have a separate stick bag for all my like drum set gigs, um, but I do always have these in my uh, in my stick bag. These there's three of those right there, but these are all old Vic Firth sticks. Um, my drum set teacher in high school uh, was Joe Picaro, and that's actually when he was making all of these sticks with Vic Firth. So uh, I would just get a bunch of sticks to try out, let him know what I thought. And um, I, I just always have these with me. They're the only nylon tip sticks that I use. They have this diamond tip, which is super cool. Let me see if I can, there you go. So it's just a really cool tip. And then the other one looks like this. Um, they do still sell one version of this. I believe it's a wood tip stick. Uh, it is diamond, it's just like this, but wood. And um, they're just great sticks. On a cymbal, you know, the diamond, it, it just, it makes it so that uh, the least amount of stick is hitting the cymbal, you get a really bright sound. So those are my go-to drum set sticks, or if I have to hit a cymbal a certain way and I just want a different sound, I use those. Going with drum set, I always keep a pair of brushes with me. These are the, let's see, what are these? The Vic Firth wire brush, pretty standard. Um, I had the rubber handled ones for a while, but I found that I can get a really nice um, sound when using the plastic shaft on the snare drum. They're just easier to use, um, for me at least. Uh, they don't stick as much if you're, you know, if you're picking them up and you know, it doesn't catch because it's not rubber. So uh, I always use those. Um, I did just try, I don't know what the model number is, but uh, I think it's a jazz brush. They have a wood. Uh, a wood shaft. Those are awesome. Those are my. Those are probably my go-to's now. They're in my drum set stick bag, and uh, but I just keep these in here because uh, you never know if you're on a gig for, you know, an orchestra or a, a recording session or something, and they just. Oh, do you have any brushes? So, I just use these. All right. So how about some hot rods? So these are just the standard hot rods. Hot rods. Uh, I think Promark makes them now, and. Yeah, these are great. Everyone should have a pair of hot rods. Um, I don't know what size these would be. They're pretty standard. Um, but the ones that I like even more are these, which Vic Firth used to sell or still sells. I can't remember. They're the uh, the Steve Smith Tallow Wand Bamboo 11. So these are great because they have this cool foam core in the middle. And uh, as you can tell here, let me click these. So these, you can hear that. That's a great sound when you're playing on drums or you need a, uh, an interesting rim, right? So rather than just hearing click, 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 you hear that. Uh, but these, because they have that foam core, it's just a little more dead, but it bounces more off the cymbals, off drums, so um, they're great. I really like these, the towel wand um, from Vic Firth. Kind of moving into the Latin world, I always have a pair of really thin timbale sticks. Uh, I hope I don't know if everyone knows what timbale sticks are. They kind of look like chopsticks, me holding them like this, but they're just the same diameter going all the way down. Uh, they're great for timbales. They're great for just cymbal crashes. I just used these for uh, Carmina Burana a little bit ago. So whenever you're doing an orchestral piece and it just asks for a stick, um, you know, back in the day, they would just use a stick. So this is the the, the closest thing that doesn't have a tip. It's just a nice sound on a cymbal. And then I also have these, the Alex Acuna. Um, what were these? The El Palo, uh, and they're Vic Firth. They're great. These are, uh, the reason why I love these, you always know which way is up. Whereas with these, you have to kind of decide that right away. So you can see I kind of chipped away at that part. Um, and yeah, these are just great because you always know what you need and they're thicker as you can see. So these are more of like, uh, using kind of like a 5A, like a real drum set. So or a real drum set stick rather. And um, yeah, okay, a lot of people ask me about these for uh, from my YouTube videos. So these are the Tom Gogger TG25. 
they have this weird taper at the end and then it's this really thick shaft the whole way and then there's a timpani mallet on the other end. These are a must for me. I use these all the time. Um, if I ever don't want to use my suspended cymbal mallets, which I showed in the other video, um, I use these and they're just great for snare drum and then if you want to flip over really quick, they're great for timpani. Uh, so if you're ever not you know, hired as a timpani player but they need timpani mallets and you need to play it, you can just use these, they're great. Uh, they are a little harder, so just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, these are a must for me. All right, these, they don't make anymore. These are the Mazetta by Alex Acuna Vic Firth Sticks. Um, I've been looking for these forever and I was actually on a gig and someone had these and so I just said, how much do you want for them? And I, uh, and I bought them from them, so it was great. Um, like I said, I've been looking for these for a while and I was very, very happy to, to get them. So very happy to have these. Okay, so snare drum sticks. Uh, these are my orchestral just concert snare drum sticks. Um, these kind of go with the double-ended stick. These are the Tom Gogger TG16. I don't know if they sell these anymore. I know that they sell um, some type of Tom Gogger version. Um, is it Gogger? I think it's Gogger. Gager? I don't know. But uh, these are the TG16s. They're great. They uh, they taper all the way at the end there. They're really light sticks. They feel great to play with um, because, you know, this is smooth the whole way down. It doesn't taper at all. So it's just really nice. Great to play really soft stuff with. Um, these are the sticks I recommend to all my students and just to everybody, the SD1 General. Um, they're a little heavier. They're not too long. Um... But yeah, these are just a great, a great stick. Especially, uh, a lot of my middle school kids are getting into like uh, high school marching band and all that. These are just give a nice weight as an in between getting ready for a bigger stick. So I recommend those. And lastly, these are the new Vic Firth uh, Symphonic Collection, the SCS One. These are like the, I don't know, the grown up version of the SD One General. It's a darker wood, it's a longer stick. Here's a normal SD1. General, so you can see it's just a little bit longer. Um, it ta tapers uh, further down at the end. The only thing that I wish these did, which uh, some other drumsticks that I've used do, is that on the end, it doesn't taper down at the back, and I really like that because it, it forms to your pinky a little bit better, but these are great sticks. These are my new go-tos, nice weight. Um, so yeah, so those are my go-tos for that. So now I'm going to talk about just some accessories that I have and some other other things that I have in my stick bag. Um, everyone should have, you know, some triangle beaters. These might be dragonfly. I don't know. They're they're something I bought them from someone else. So just a couple triangle beaters, maybe two different sizes. Um, I keep the other. I have another pair just like these, one red, one white, in a triangle bag. So if I have my triangle bag with me and my mallet bag. Then I always have two uh, of each, but if I only have my mallet bag, then I have some options. And these are knitting needles. So knitting needles are really cool because they have this really flat end on the back. So you can see that it's just like a really flat back. And so when you're playing a cymbal, let me bring this over here. When you're playing a cymbal, it's great for scraping because it's nice and long. You can hold onto it, it's thin. You just put it here and it just gives a really nice sound. Uh, scraping gong, same way. So I'd recommend that. I have these in all different sizes. I got them off eBay from somebody who was just selling a pack of knitting needles, I think, or I went to Joann's, I can't remember. It was so many years ago, but they're also really cool beaters, you know, for bell tree or something like that. Just really cool thing. Uh, you know, I recommend having those. Going with the triangle beaters, having a triangle clip. Um, you know, I make triangle clips myself you, uh, with the, the little spring clamp that you get at Home Depot, things like that. So I'd recommend that. And then I play a lot of hand drums, hand percussion. So I always have um, uh, like a hand lotion in my bag just to um, get the oils in my hands going. Because if you play for a while, the heads actually like drain the oil out of your, out of your hands. So having this, um, it really, it really helps a lot and it just, uh, you know, healthy hands, you need healthy hands to play. So that's what I recommend. And last but not least, always have a ton of pencils. Um, 
pulling out my mallets and sticks and everything for all these videos, uh, I found these in like every crevice of my mallet bag. So normally I have two or three pencils. This is everything that just came out of my bag. So uh, I can't recommend this enough. This is a red pencil. So if you're able to mark your parts, it's just easier to see. Uh, these are all just normal. I have one that has a really thick uh, uh, eraser. And then having this, uh, I put, sometimes I'll put uh, masking tape down for uh, for my timpani gauges, so if I do that I can use my my uh, my really fine sharpie So always recommend those and That's pretty much it. Uh, everyone should have you know um, I Can't even think of what they're called drum keys Everyone should have a drum key. I have many so I have this one It's just a little pearl drum key it probably came with one of my snare drums uh, Another larger this is from high school big T, uh, T bar and then you know so just have a variety of drum keys it's always great to have two and uh, to have a wrench if you're ever planning on playing bongos congas timbales sometimes timbales you need this this size wrench um, this is a 13 and a 12 just so you know and uh, it doesn't need to be fancy just go to Harbor Freight or something cheap and find it on Amazon just get a really cheap uh, uh, wrench to keep with you so that's all my stuff uh, here I'll hold all these sticks up so you can see them all right here we go so this is these are all the sticks that go in my stick bag so uh it's quite a lot it's the biggest pouch that i have at least and i'm gonna put these back in here and then i'll just show you what the uh the mallet bag looks like all together all right so there it is i use the uh the galaxy humesenberg mallet bag uh it's great you can put your name on it i have my card in there it has my name and um yeah, so that's everything. So if you stuck around this long, you know, bells, xylophone, yarn mallets, and then all my sticks and, uh, and percussive stuff. Up here is where I put the, the triangle clip and all that. So yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Um, I'm not used to doing these, you know, in front of the camera things. So any comments are appreciated. Let me know how I'm doing, and I'll try and do more of these in the future. If you want to see more of uh, me talking about anything, just let me know. All right? Thanks, guys.